afternoon to our, our lecturers and our friends. And today we are talking about understanding different types of questions and drawings in the field environment. Our topic today is about interior designs. I would like to introduce myself to the members. I'm Koji. He's an MC, Otto, Ashley, Giselle, and Vanessa. So, this is the topic we're going to go through today. The definition, importance, work scope, and responsibility of interior design, types and function of drawings, and importance of ID drawings. So, definition of ID. What does an ID do? Interior design. They plan elevation, detail, and specification. Uh, the interior designers uh, plan the uh, uh, design safe, functional, and practical practical uh, interiors that is meets the public requirement as well.
the material requirements and cost and present it to the clients for approval. Next, they also need to produce drawings like rock plans and details of design. And the last, they need to supervise the work so that you can make sure everything goes on the goes on the schedules. Okay, these are examples of what an interior designer design. This is a house, a restaurant, office, public areas, car interiors, and uh, historical buildings. Okay, next I'm going to talk about responsibilities and tasks of interior designer and different stages of construction. Okay, the first stage is meet clients and contractors. And interior designer need to communicate with clients and know what they need. And they also need to provide some advice and suggestion for clients. Next, after verifying the contractor, they need to discuss the layout with the client, uh, the contractor, so they can know whether the design can be built. Okay, the last one, they need to coordinate questions with the contractor and solve problems after doing the construction. And these are elements that will be discussed between interior designer and client. The first one is colors. The cost is about the cost of the floors, the cost of wallpapers and bridges and so on. Okay, the second one is form. Form is about the shape and outline of the furniture or object. The plan and the interior designer will discuss about the function of the furniture. Like what they what special function do they need? Like there's a cabinet, the staircase of this of the table can pull up of the sofa. Okay. The next one there's light. The lighting can be divided into natural lighting and artificial lighting. Lighting, 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 lighting. This is an example of natural lighting, and this is not. Okay. And the designer will discuss like what objects they can put in this area so they can show some personalities. These are space spaces. It's also to be discussed, and it's more about space management and. The basic structures is like walls, floors, the windows and the doors and so on. <coughs> okay, the last one is texture. Texture is about the appearance of appearance of the surface of the furniture. And this shows a very rough texture and this shows a very smooth texture. Okay, next I'll pass it to Ontario. So, very good afternoon to all my previous lecturer. And my name is Anton Joshua. Okay, so today I'm going to talk about responsibility of interior designers. So, before I start my presentation, I would like to you all imagine that I'm an interior designer and you are a client. <laughs> so here I start. So at first, an interior designer wants to design a, a, a thing, a, a space, and what they need to do. So at first, they need to meet the client. So why do we need, uh, why they need to meet the client? Because they need to understand what the client needs and what the client wants. After that, they need to meet the contractor. After they meet the client and they meet the contractor, understand what they need and what they want. Second, they go to the client's space. So, why is the importance of the fan space? Uh, is the first is determine the furniture location. For example, this is the fan. And here is the living room. So, in the living room, we need to have a sofa. And in front of the sofa, they need a television. For example, here is the kitchen. And here is the toilet. So, second, we need to analyze the square footage. So, why is the importance of square footage to identify the way to the location of the place? Third is to compare the color patterns and the fourth is visualize it the fabric pattern of material. Next, after plan the space, we need to determine the material and the color selection. What is the importance of determining the material and color selection? 
for an example, we need to design a study room. So when we design a study room, we need to consider about the color. About the color, we need to choose the color that are the warm set, uh, warm season. For example, like light blue, light red, yellow, uh, orange, etc. And we should not choose those color like uh, for about the dark, um, a bit cold season. For example, dark purple, dark red, black color for a study room. Why? Because um, for the dark color. It will cause you um, very sleepy and it's not suitable for design the uh, study room, study area. So next, after I plan the space and I decide the color, we should understand the uh, concept. What is the important of concept? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, we need to understand the concept. After we decide all the things, we need to confirm it with the client. And after the client say, okay, I agree with you and you okay, I okay, we start to we start the contract document. So after we start the contract, we will uh, we will start doing about the details of the growing. What is the importance of the details of the growing? The details of the growing is, is uh, called as the cap plan growing. This is the example of cap plan growing and here is the example of the growing of the kitchen. Here is the stove, here is the cupboard. And we need to consider about the width and the height. So after this, we have done the details of the growing, we start the construction. After we start the construction, we start to build up and purchase the furniture. Right? In this section, we purchase the furniture, we need to ensure that the schedule, that the furniture that you purchase is cut in order on time, and we need to start on measurement for application. After you purchase the furniture and the furniture has reached your home and we start to furnish the area. When we start to furnish the area, we need to consider about three things. The first thing is about painting. Make sure the painting that they paint are the color that you want. And second is wallpaper. Third is the floor. In this section, we need to ensure that a very important thing which is there is sufficient of manpower. We need to enough, have enough person and manpower in order to paint the area, make it the project become smoothly. So after furnish the area, all the plan and all the things have been done, we need to do the last section, which is checking and do after care. We need to do final check with the client and make sure this is what the client needs and this is what the client wants. After that, we need to point out if any defect or any mistake done by the contractor, we will redo it until the client is satisfied with it. Next, I will pass the slide to actually continue. Thank you. Are the pink part, the 
Island, Lava, and Boat Tour. And circulation diagram also shows the simulation of one space to another. It shows how people move about in a building. And reports are a collection of pictures and collage. It is used to explore different themes and styles. The mood board on the left focuses more on the overview, like it's more of an inspirational mood board, whereas on the right, it focuses more on the details such as the materials, colors, and furniture's used. Mood boards are a really great visual tool used by interior designers, and it helps them to convey their ideas more easily. And these are the samples provided by the suppliers to the interior designers to help them create their mood boards. They're such as fabric structures, colors in different types of textures, materials, and colors. The last type of drawing under a schematic drawing is preliminary furniture layout plan, which Sally will explain more about. It.